everybody, welcome back. I've got a new journal to share with you today. Um, I've named this one Woodland Walk um, because I think the fabric really reminds me of walking through the woods. Uh, it's got really rich greens and browns and golds and I love this material. Um, I'm trying to think where... Uh, yeah, I picked this up a couple, maybe six weeks, eight weeks ago, I think. Uh, it's the first chance I've had to use it, but I absolutely love how it's come out. So it's a fabric cover journal. It's a, it's a one signature um, sewn in with a five hole pamphlet stitch. And then on the front, I took some, um, it's like a crocheted, uh, it's a really wide trim that I picked up. I don't think it's vintage, that one, but um, still, it was it's really pretty. So I backed it with some muslin. And then I did some stitching here, and then this was just a piece of a doily, <coughs> excuse me, and then an old button I've, I've sewn to that. I wanted to keep the collar fairly plain because it's such a busy pattern, and I didn't want to cover it up. And then in the pocket, I've created a fabric uh, tag that's been backed with some cardstock. And then that's been stamped on muslin, and then that, of course, has been stitched to it as well. And this is some seam binding and some Irish linen thread. And then the closure on this is Sorry Silk. I'll let you see the side view of it. I've got a little bell on there and then another little safety pin that's got some glass beads on it. So we'll go inside. This one's a, about a 6 by 9 inch journal. Um, and here on the cover I've created uh, a pocket back here. It's a big pocket in the very back. And then uh, you've got a pocket here. And then this little envelope opens up and you've got a couple of journaling cards within that. And then that just tucks in there. I've done a little notebook with some uh, scraps of tea dyed paper. And then this journaling card and another journal card. And the main kit in here is a Tracy Fox um, called Nature's Epiphany. And it's a gorgeous uh, journaling kit. Um, I've used the pages from that kit. And then my ephemera is just a mix of um, things within my stash. So um, this hasn't, I haven't named this as a design team project because there are so many other elements within it. I've got Artie Mays, I've got some Seneca Pond um, ephemera, and then some others that I don't uh, work for, but I've purchased in addition to those. So here I've got a journaling card and a tag, and this is one of Artie Mays' big tickets. I love that. And so I've done some stitching with some trim there. I'll let you see a close-up of that. Those tickets are awesome. Um, ledger paper, everything's been tea dyed. Uh, this is an image from, <coughs> excuse me, Tracy Fox. And then this is just various um, bits of ephemera that I've got. Here I've created a little flip out, some old music sheet. <coughs> Yeah, I love these. These pages from Tracy's kit are beautiful. Here I've got a glassine pocket with another tag from, um, that's an Artie Mays postcard there. And then um, just various bits from my stash. I've done some stamping on that muslin there. And I've attached that to some old trim. Um, this is a French book page. I've got some snippet tabs on this journal, and then this is a little bulb pin with a bell. Um, this is another of my um, wallpaper pockets. I spent a day last week just creating these, and I love them. I love how they've come out. This is some um, Artie Mays Eco dyed paper. Just some old book page I've recently picked up. 
Edith Holden paper here. Um, I've got a couple of fabric ruffles I've included. And then this is uh, the embellishment tutorial I've been sh I just showed uh, how to make those. So that's been there, and that's another little um, journal tag. Another little snippet tab. So there's a lot of space for uh, you to do some writing. And this, uh, sometimes these little um, Tim Holtz clips can be hard to get off. Um, this one, there is a pocket space back here, so you could put a large journal there. And then inside I've got Tuck Spot with a couple journal cards, and then another um, little seed envelope that I've glued together. And that's tucked in there. And then on the front, this is one of the Tim Holtz photo dies, and it's just full of various little tags and um, things that from my stash that I thought all kind of went together. I have so enjoyed being back with the fabric. Um, I love the big journals, don't get me wrong, but <coughs> it's nice to take a break and work with um, fabric again um, because I just I love it so much. Um, this is the center of the signature, and you saw I did a tutorial on how to do these accordion um, pages, and then each of these, just a little tag. I've cut various um, scrapbook paper tags from my stash. tracing paper that's been tea dyed and this is a long pocket um, that I've included there. Another fabric ruffle. Yeah, I've really, really enjoyed. Um, I just spent some time um, making fabric ruffles. I did loads of snippet rolls that are all um, you know, just bits and pieces that I've been collecting, and it's just gotten out of hand. I had a drawer full, and I'm down to about halfway, and I've created probably, I think, about 13 big snippet rolls from that, and I've still got stuff to use. This is a little um, safety pin. I did some, um, I aged a load of, I'll show you a little drawer. I just did a whole load of paper clips, and... Um, safety pins this weekend with some aging solution we had left over. We used to have a lighting company, so um, often we would do some aging on components. Here is a envelope pocket that I've decoupaged. I love those, um, the colors from that. So, And that's another piece of the, uh, or that's the back side of the eco-dyed paper, and that's from Artie May's shop. This is a little um, paper clip and a butterfly. Just, it can go flat or you can fluff it up when you're working within the journal. So yeah, I just sat down and, and just played with fabric for um, a day and I loved it. <laughs> it was very therapeutic to, to get that time to do that. That's the other um, French book page. Another snippet tab. I love these papers. So you could add a photo there if you wanted or do some journaling. This was um, an idea I had a while back on because I had a load of uh, postcards that I just didn't like the front of them. So I just kept them and added various uh, scraps from my scrapbooking paper to the front and did some stitching so it's a really heavy little journal card there and then um, this is the other side of the um, envelope sorry about that Daisy no the postman here and she always gets upset when he's messing around <laughs> there's a pocket and then this is the back of the journal I don't know if she's going to settle down or not. Um, this is a, I just took some scraps of scrapbooking paper, did another, um, one of the butterflies, and then I backed it with some tea dyed grid paper. 
and then sewed around that. This is some sari silk and more of the in Irish linen thread. And then this, what I've done, there's a pocket here, and then there's a pocket here on the side with a little journal card, and then there's a pocket here that I've created. And this is, of course, one of the junk mailers. And I love, absolutely love using these now. It's just uh, another nice element in the journal that I'm totally addicted to these now. So I, I did a lot of tea dyeing um, towards the end of last week and got loads of those ready and prepped. So it's a chunky journal, and then, like I said, you got that center um, element to the journal. And I'll show you the back um, so you can see the fabric a little bit easier. I absolutely love the colors in this. They are just so pretty. Look at that. So yeah, I think it's very much a woodland walk journal. So thank you guys so much for dropping by today as I did a flip through. I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Um, I've, I've gained quite a few this last couple of weeks and I really do appreciate you guys uh, joining my channel. I'm going to um, try to be doing, you know, at least one tutorial a week. Um, hopefully I can do a couple of tutorials. It's just all down to, you know, if I can think of anything that's quality <laughs> to put on here. Because, um, like I said to you before, I, I really do enjoy sharing anything that I think might be of interest to somebody else. Um, but thank you guys so much. I really appreciate um, everybody's supportive comments about um, choosing to to drop out of the 100 day project that was it was really overwhelming to me um, how supportive everybody was and that it makes up for you know the not so nice people that are out and about um, so thank you guys it was just uh, amazing to me um, how many people took the time to leave a comment and it really did lift my spirits so thank you guys so much I hope that you have a great week ahead and I will see you very soon Bye.